This is a magnificent 1.97 carat GIA certified vivid emerald green Savare garnet. Hey everyone, David Sod here from skygems.ca. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have on the turntable a truly magnificent jewel, 1.97 carats. As I said in the intro, this is a vivid emerald green Savarite garnet. As it's coming around, you can have another look at it. Just a truly, truly stunning gem. Take a look at that. This is going to set up incredibly well and make a true heirloom piece of jewelry, the kind of piece that you know is going to be passed on for generations to come. And if you are looking to have a piece of jewelry made with this, I would very much like to be the one to do it for you. Reach out to me, send me some photos of what it is you're looking to make, and I can usually get you a quote within one business day. I've now taken this magnificent gem off the turntable and put it into a pair of tweezers for you. This is so I can show you at home a good close-up look of the stone. Uh, I can show you the cutting a little bit more, get you a good look at the back. Uh, of course, if you're in the Toronto area, you want to come take a look at this in person. I'd love to have you into the office. Please do be sure to reach out to me for an appointment as we do not accept walk-in customers. And for the rest of you who I know are not going to get a chance to make it in, uh, I'm going to continue a little bit of a tour. Of course, if you are going to make it in, you can continue the tour too. Uh, I like to do these, you know, a little bit longer videos and sometimes I get a bit of complaints and you can obviously mute me. But the reason I do these longer videos is because, you know, when you're buying a gem like this, if, you know, this quality, you want to know all the parts of it, right? You want to see the cutting from all the angles. You want to see what it looks like. Uh, you want to see, you can see there's some very, very, very minor inclusions visible here. Uh, those are not visible to the naked eye, but, uh, you know, absolutely they show up under 10x magnification. And uh, because these videos are indeed magnified and enlarged, you can see them a bit there. I'm actually trying to get you an angle from the back where you're able to see the inclusions, but it doesn't seem to be, oh, there we go. So you can see very minor, just those uh, little like dust spot inclusions that we often find in uh, Severate and, and many other garnets too. It's a it's a common inclusion to find in uh, in Spessor Tight as well. Beautiful stone. Like I said, it's going to set up magnificently well. I mean, this is the kind of piece where you know you're passing it on for for generations to come. And uh, if you know anything about Severate, which you probably do, if you're you're watching this, you know. I mean, this material is becoming rarer by the day. There's uh, you know any finds that have been found or you know depleted pretty quickly because it's uh you know my, there's a lot of gems like this emeralds like this a lot too where you know you can end up discovering these very very small pockets um and people end up figuring oh well there was some there and there must be more they'll dig up the whole area and not find anything so uh you know these deposits that are that these stones are coming from uh absolutely gorgeous gems uh this is from kenya um they're mostly coming out of kenya and tanzania right now they're, they're they border each other and you know nature doesn't know human borders so that's uh you know that's kind of that i say that a lot um that you know nature doesn't know human borders so to say whether it's from you know kenya or tanzania you can't actually there's nobody that can tell you i just know this is from kenya because i know the person who uh who who mined the rough and uh, then had it cut. So absolutely stunning gem. As I said, gorgeous, gonna set up incredibly well. And uh, I'm gonna just put it in a mock solitaire setting for you in a second. And that's gonna give you just another look at the gem, okay? So again, as I said, right in the beginning, this is gonna set up magnificently well. And you can see that, you know, now that I've put this onto, you know, into this mock solitaire setting, you start to see what I mean by, you know, when I often say, Every gem sets up better. This is no exception. Take a look at that. I put it in this, you know, cheapo couple of dollar uh, mock solitaire setting for you. It's really the reason these settings exist is to, you know, show you what the gem will look like as far as the size goes on your finger or as far as your complexion. But uh, I find that what it also does for us is it showcases just how beautiful gems are going to be once they're finally set up. Look at that. Absolutely ravishing. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please reach out to me. Have yourself a great day. And don't forget to tell your friends about skygems.ca. Bye for now.